it's too hot to go outside, baby. But we're here, it was a good flight. I sat next to two little kids who minded their fucking business. And um, yeah, we're about to have us a good time in Houston. Also here to handle some business. I'm looking very fresh faced and glowy. So yeah, when I get to the hotel and checked in, I will check back in with y'all and give y'all the tea. I gotta fix my hair and my edges, oh my god, but I just wanted to come in and say hey. Most of these things I don't wanna say. I wanna be around while you chase. You wanna hit me up when you make it. You'll try and come back when you're famous. I always want the truth, but it's dangerous. You got something real, not basic. You wanna get with me, stop Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't wanna say I wanna be around while you chase You wanna hit me up when you make it You'll try to come back when you're famous I don't wanna wait to show it up now They just open at 11, nobody is here You got something real high I did the waitress to Joey uptown and remember my limit drop here. I was like, oh my god, that means I'm here too much, but... When I came back from Mary's, then I woke up and started editing the vlog, like putting the last final touches on it. Um, so then I wanted to order some Uber Eats, right? I ordered from this place called like Howdy's Hot Chicken or something like that. Me and Cher ordered it the last time we were in Houston and baby was good, okay? So then I get a notification, says your order has been delivered. Go down to the front desk, I'm like, hey, I'm looking for my order. They're like, nobody's delivered anything. So I go on the Uber app, call the driver. She was like, oh, Uber didn't call you. I canceled the order. I was like, why? She said, it wasn't ready when I got there. I was like, no, they charged me and said the order was delivered at 8.39 p.m. She was like, oh, no, no, I had to cancel it because it wasn't ready. So why the fuck would you cancel it instead of just letting another driver pick it up? So then I had to go on the Uber app and say I never got the order. And then Uber ended up refunding me. And thank God I used my PayPal balance and it went back like automatically. But I was really hungry. So I had to settle for Doritos and peanut M&Ms. Do you think that's what I wanted to eat today? No, I wanted that sandwich and them waffle fries. Anyways, it's almost 10 p.m. here in Houston. I'm about to get ready to go out, take a shower, start the glam process, all of that. Um, so yeah, let's look at the options for tonight. So I'm either gonna wear this orange bandage dress that has this really cute like plastic chain Oh, I'm gonna wear like this pink rouge number. And I just realized I always wear pink when I'm in Houston. So maybe pink is like my go-to color. Um, I packed very lightly. Y'all saw my packing in the last video. And I brought my favorite heels, tripods, all my stuff. So yeah, we about to turn it up tonight, baby. And I'm over here doing work for YouTube. So let me hop in the shower and I'll be back. Freshly out the shower. So let me tell you a little bit about just today. Boom had two beds, which I don't really care about, but the thing that I like is the stand up glass shower. So we call the front desk and they're like, oh, it's gonna be a $50 charge if you wanna move to a room that has one bed in the glass shower. The only reason why I don't, I don't like bathtubs and hotels is I don't like that motherfucking shower curtain touching my body. But it's all good. I'm only here for one night. I'm moving to a different hotel tomorrow. But um, I took a bomb ass shower. And y'all, you know like when they have the little ice buckets, that it's like that plastic bag in there. I put that over my hair as a makeshift shower cap. Girl. So, as you saw in my last vlog, my new Sonia Kashuk or Sonia Kashuk um, toiletry bag. I love this bag so much. I'll link it. Like, this is like the best makeup bag. See how compact it is? 
has a little section for your brushes at the top like this and then all my makeup is here at the bottom so we're about to get our setup going i like to take everything out like kind of like this when i do my makeup let me move y'all so y'all can see how i set up everything i like to put a towel down buck up the hotel people's towels why not and i like to just line all of my products out so i can see everything First thing I want to do is my baby hairs. Okay, so these are kind of already down. I just want to pull them back down from where they were. Okay, because they have product on them already. <sighs> I want to know if I can probably use this instead. Probably not. Let me not even play myself like that. Cause guys to be don't be doing shit for me. For my for my curly ass hair. But we gonna make it do what it do today, baby, until I get to the beauty supply store tomorrow. That was pretty. Look how that one came out. Alright. You might be working with a little something something. Okay. I don't ever use goss to be on my real edges, so. Okay, so. Ooh, she's in moi. Everything is done. So, all the new products I got from Sephora the other day, like that lip liner and that plumping gloss, hated it. Hated it. All right, about to go get in the Uber. Um, I look good as fuck tonight. That's all I'm going to say to you all. Orange is my color. Um, by the time this vlog comes out, you'll see the real, so you'll see the vibes. I'm going to this club called O2. It's an African club. I got invited by three different people, so it's about to be lit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, your girl looks good. I look so good. So freaking good. So good. So yeah. Boy, we had a time last night. A time. I just ran downstairs to get my food from Uber Eats. I ordered the same food that canceled on me yesterday because this place is so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. That's like the best ranch I ever had. I just threw on my airport outfit again. I have a thousand things going on right now. But, y'all, I was going to vlog last night, but... I just ended up having a really, really, really good time. Like a really good time. Mm. So yeah, today is day two. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so hungry. Cause I only ate yesterday at Joey Uptown. I went to Good Mood. I'm sorry, last night I went to O2. O2 is so fun. Um, then I went to an after hour spot and I realized that the after hours here in Houston are just not like Atlanta. Like they're, ugh. I ran into a guy I was talking to last year. Very handsome guy, older, mature. A nice conversation about stuff and Cause we stopped talking for a while. I don't remember what happened. He was like, I follow you on Instagram. I see like when you post, when you come to Houston, you never hit me up. I'm like, boy, I don't hit you up because you know, whatever happened, happened. But I don't know. It was just nice to have like a familiar face. But at the end of the day, these ain't period. 
But I'm about to eat the rest of this food. Let me show y'all. All right, look at this chicken sandwich, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So good. And then I got some waffle fries with this ranch. My room's a mess. I am working on my blog over there. And my camera's about to die, so I'll check in with you all. I'll check in with you all when I get to the second hotel. Let me charge my camera battery. And when I'm all dressed and all that stuff at the next spot. Just got to my new room. They upgraded me because, you know, your girl's titanium. So I got a nice, cute corner king room. Yes, I'm looking like yesterday. <laughs> and very cute. Views. So, yeah. I had to Uber to the beauty supply store because I needed an edge control brush because mine was dirty and it's causing some like the debris from the old one to get in my baby hairs and I didn't have any edge control like I didn't have a little eco booster so and I had to go get some more pads because I wear pads when I'm sleeping so I got a little eco booster this might be the one I had the last time actually now that I think about it sweet peach scent whatever and then i got this edge control brush so i'm about to take a shower and get ready for whatever the day has to hold for me okay all right let's get ready because i look crazy my edges got dirty so i just kind of took a wet towel and um you know but i'm about to like dry them did this dude tell me i just texted him i was like hey like when are you trying to link and he was like i'll be t i'll be i'll be there by 5 30. look what time it is 4 56 i said i need it till 6. all right cool he said six so simple outfit for today a little black maxi rib dress super super cute um, I'm not doing any lashes today because I'm just frustrated with lashes. I'm frustrated with my hair, but you know, we gonna make it do what it's do. I'm gonna have to just make this hairstyle last because I should have brought a crimper with me. That's just what the fuck it is, but. Whatever, whatever. <sighs> Dior sandals. Just very simple. I'm hungry. I just wanna have a nice little Sunday fun day. I'm probably gonna put on my sunglasses even though they're gonna leave marks in my face, but I just feel like the fit, ooh, the fit needs something else. Good morning. I can't even believe that I'm up this early. Um, I'm majorly hungover. I'm about to walk to the drugstore to get some medicine and some Gatorade. This is not the right floor. I thought I was at the other hotel. But um, I'm about to go get some Tylenol because mama has cramps and a big thing of Gatorade and I catch my Uber to this first appointment that I have. So today is Monday, August 6th. So let's go. We got a lot of important stuff to do today. Um, so yeah, I'm at the beautiful JW Marriott. It is so nice here. I look how pretty this hallway is. But all right, let's get the day started. It's so fucking hot, my damn camera fogged up. This is crazy. This is my survival right now, you hear me? Survival. Check out the fuck when you take off, how you did that? You put switches. 
so are you bleaking? How you did that? Your LV back turned to a legend. How you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis. How you did that? That look like a brand new booty. How you did that? You got face stones and over the watch. How you did that? You hear some scratches in your closet. Why you did that? How you yelling slash slash? How I kill a cat? Yeah, hopping around in a two to make big pillows in the back. Let's go. Too many vibes in the Philly. I guess someone gon' get wet. How you gon' get me? When you still on me? How you gon' do that? Snatch the Louis bag. Give a nigga yak attack. What's up? It's much, much later in the day. Y'all, this has been such a busy day for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, ooh, lighting's horrible right there. But yeah, this has been a super busy day for me. I was hung over really bad this morning <laughs> as I was trying to take care of some important business. <sighs> but I just took a shower and um i'm about to do my makeup yesterday i did not even vlog because i had a ball i, I haven't even talked to y'all i had so much freaking fun last night like the amount of fun i had last night was insane okay when i say i was just pretty and just showed up like you know that little instagram or tiktok thing where the girl is like opens her purse and it's like lip gloss and a lip ball in there like that was i mean of course i have money but it was like that was the vibes i was on like dating gives me like serious i have like dating anxiety i just always feel like a guy is not going to be able to properly you know plan a date because men just be acting so low effort or whatever so i got in the car um and i was like where are we going and he was like 13 and i was like mm, that's jane harden's restaurant i always wanted to go there you know i've never been there before um so we went there and it was like the bar loungy area where they have hookah and stuff and it was a dj and it was so freaking fun like it was fun because at first you know we got a hookah and then he was like you know we we're talking about like what we drink and all that kind of stuff and um i was like you know i want to get a lemon drop and he was like wait they have this drink called 13 it's really really good i think you should try it and then if you don't like it you know you can get a lemon drop as like you know your next drink and i'm like okay i never had a guy like you know try to refer you know like basically kind of like order for me right i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm, I'm going to um trust his judgment the drink was so good and then he was just fun like he was a whole fucking vibe and it was just very refreshing to just kind of be with like a guy who was just being a gentleman like just being like you know a man like so and also to you know where you just don't get those you know i didn't feel pressured you know to you know whatever but i just had a really good drunk time was just parading around the city in a Maybach and just living my best soft princess life, okay? So, this was a fun weekend for me in Houston. Um, I'm about to just do some light makeup and go somewhere. Just get a little hookah, a little drink. I leave tomorrow evening. I have some important stuff I need to do in the morning. And then I leave in the evening. So I'll be back in Atlanta tomorrow night like around 9 p.m so yeah i just been having fun and i think this is like probably like one of the most fun times i've had like maybe this these past few weeks because baby girl i've been going through it i got my eyebrows started and it's just like did they i know my eyebrows didn't grow back this much since i got them done like, why am I seeing these little, like, do eyebrows even grow back that fast? What the hell? Or is it because I'm looking in, like, this super magnifying mirror? Like, this is crazy. I, I didn't think my eyebrows should be looking like this. <clears throat> and, of course, I do that one, too. Damn thick. But, yeah. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Back in Atlanta Wednesday. I need to wash my hair so bad. These crimps were beautiful, but 
I got really hot in the club on Saturday. And baby, my hair just looks, it just looks wet and wavy at this point, okay? It just looks wet and wavy, like. This brown, brow glue and brown, this is a game changer, like for sure. Love it. So I'm gonna hurry up and get dressed. Okay, so my crimps are fucked because it's so hot here. So I wanted to put like my claw clip on, but I feel like my hair also looks really cute if I had a ponytail holder. Like, that would be super cute. The claw clip idea is cute as well. I just feel like, cause my hair is so long and I kind of broke the claw clip. I just feel like, like what do you guys think about if I kind of just made it like messy, you know? I don't like it, I don't know. Like what do you think about that? Y'all, no funny shit. I started using this Dove deodorant and I feel like it's making me fucking musty. Like I keep smelling my underarms and it's like, I am not a stinky girl. Like me getting told I smell good is like my number one, um, my number one compliment and my skin being soft. But um, I got this little baby Dior. It's so like, I didn't know that Miss Dior smelled this good because I have, this, I have this other Dior perfume and it does not smell good like this one, so, yeah. I just, I don't know, I feel like I did a good job with packing, but I just need to get more trial sized things. Like, I want my, um, because I just want more perfumes and stuff. I just put on some of the Tom Ford. So Le Blanc, like, y'all know the vibes. But let me show you the fit. Okay, so I have this Fashion Nova t-shirt. I cut it. Um, Look at this. Oh my God, my claw clip is fucked. I just have to take it off because it's messed up. Okay, Fashion Nova skirt. These Gucci platforms I got in 2020. Um, or was that 2021? Might have been 20. No, maybe it was 2020. Uh, anyways, whatever. Fashion of a t-shirt, I cut it and tied it, but I don't like this part right here. So I'm like, do I want to cut it to make it like... Oh, that was actually a good idea. Y'all, I feel like I'm fucking musty. Like, WTF. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a ponytail. I'm gonna stop by the front desk and ask them if they have a rubber band. I think a pony would be really cute. Hey, look how when my hair is pulled off my face, how fucking cute I look. But, <clears throat> let me give you guys a full fit. As you can see. Yeah, this is super cute. My little anklet. I got this necklace from Amazon because I lost my last faux diamond tennis necklace. And my last one, I actually got it from fucking AliExpress and I can't find it. This one is too shiny. My other one looked more real, but it's whatever. But I look really cute. Real cute, like, hey baby, I'm looking thick. She got the legs out. But yeah, I think about this go, I mean, I'm going to a hookah place, but they close at 12, so you need to hurry my fuck up. I'm gonna let go. But, um, look very cute. So, oh, yeah, another thing. I didn't bring the right lip products with me. So, I've been wearing like a little bit of lipstick plus, um, Dior lip oil. And, like, you know, that's like really it on my lips. And Charlotte Til Tilbury. Is it Tilbury or Tilbury? The Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. It's Charlotte Tilbury. Black people love adding the S to stuff. Tilbury. I'm just curious how much cash I've been having. This like, okay, it's just $3, but you know, I had hella cash last week and it's just been diminishing. 
make sure I got all my IDs because I definitely left my ID somewhere earlier. Okay, it should almost be time for this nigga to vet here. Yeah. So I will probably check in with you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. All right, so I'm about to go to my favorite place, Mary's, and work on my vlog. Got my laptop, all my stuff. I'm about to eat some lamb chops, you know. Thank you, Zach. All right, so I am about to leave to go to the airport. Flight got delayed, but it boards. No, this flight leaves at 6.04. So I'm flying out of the Bush Airport, which is far as hell. So I need to call my Uber so I can head to the airport. I was just at Mary's. I've been at Mary's three times since I've been here. Um, I had to get the vlog up. <sighs> Everything's good. I've just been so busy. And it took me forever to do my links. I did those links so quickly. Um, so anytime if you see like I don't link something, it's probably because I didn't like the item. Like, you know, ended up taking it back or something like that. And um, so yeah. And then I really don't link the Fashion Nova stuff just because it sells out so quickly. So yeah. All right, Uber. I cannot wait to sleep on this flight and get home and sleep. I'm probably not even gonna unpack my shit. I'm probably just gonna take a shower and get in the bed. I have so much to do tomorrow. I'll get to the airport at 4.09. Um, hmm. All right, I can chill for a little bit because I want to get to the airport at like 4.30. Let me, so it boards at 5.41. Yeah, I don't want to be sitting there that damn long, so I'm good. Okay, so my flight got delayed by like 15 minutes. That's not bad, because I was supposed to land at 9.15, I land at 9.30 now. So, that is so cool. Like, these apps, it just shows like, you pass over Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Atlanta, and Atlanta. But um, I had an amazing time in Houston. This is probably like one of the best solo Houston trips I've had. Like, I have fun every day that I was here. Um yeah but the thing that is so crazy let me see is um niggas is fucking weird i'm gonna let you know that right now like i went on a cool ass date on sunday and i got wasted and i don't know what happened but like the dude has not called me back he opened my snapchat message earlier today but i like was just trying to see if he was okay but i don't know if he's like ghosting me or what and that's why sometimes it's hard to date because I just feel like guys have like these unrealistic expectations that like you're going to have sex with them. And I just know that that's just not something that I'm interested in doing doing with anybody right now. Like I just want to be abstinent. I, there's so many things that I'm just trying to focus on. Most importantly, like my mental, emotional and definitely my physical health. Like I'm just trying to pour into me so much and just really build myself back up after this really toxic toxic excuse me situationship relationship that i was in with this guy and i just want to break you know like dating i don't really it's like just i don't really want to be serious with somebody right now i do you know foresee myself being in a relationship and that was like one of the things i wrote on my new year's resolution list like i wanted to be in a serious monogamous committed relationship but of course you know things change and i just feel like i'm just kind of emotionally like drained and tapped out to where i just don't even want to center men in my life I'm not saying that i did center men but i just feel like when you decenterize men you can just focus on so much more like so much more so yeah just getting myself to be the best version of myself physically mentally emotionally i haven't been to therapy in like a month i want to talk to my therapist like in the next two weeks i was just trying to focus on a lot a lot a lot of stuff and um just 
getting me right, you know? I want to just be happier um, and just get in the best shape that I can be, you know? So that is what I'm trying to do right now. But yeah, I went on fun dates while I was here. The guy who I feel like is ghosting me right now, he was cool as hell. He really wasn't my type. He was very, very short. But um, I had fun, but whatever. So then I went out yesterday, twice, two dates yesterday. Look at me going on two dates. And like guys just get so mad when you are not trying to be sexual with them it's just like why can't we just vibe talk get to know one another so that's why like i feel like dates give me anxiety because one i feel like going on a date i don't think a guy i'm not gonna say i don't think a guy going on dates gives me anxiety because i have high standards and the way that i live my life and the the soft life that i have and the things that i can provide myself and i work hard for and the things i do on a daily basis i just feel like sometimes if you want to you know a guy says where do you want to go you say okay cool i want to go to house or i want to go to little alley steak or just like a nice restaurant you know what i'm saying they be like oh you want to go there and they feel like oh okay because i'm taking her on this three four hundred dollar day i'm about to buy her dinner buy her drinks or we go to a hookah lounge or whatever the case may be they feel entitled to something sexual and i just feel like the bar has been set so low because a lot of women just they're cool with that bare minimum a lot of girls are like oh he's taking me to a, a nice restaurant or he's taking me to the section in the club but i'm like me and my homegirls we do that shit on a basis like a, a everyday weekly basis you know what i'm saying like i can go out pop my own bottles i can buy my own flight i can take myself on vacation i can buy myself bags shoes all the luxurious dinners flowers i can do all of that for myself because i work hard and i'm able to do that for myself so why would i want to be with anybody who can't do half of that or if you are able to do that you feel like i owe you something because there are just girls out here who are just probably you know never had shit don't have the means to do it for themselves so they're just busting it wide open for a fucking hookah and a bottle of casamigos like so i am just changing the way that i look at dating and just changing um the type of people that i just want to be around and even date um my type is pretty I feel like my type is like diverse but it's also there's a certain type of guy that i like but it's just it ain't it ain't no half stepping on these parts okay because i am such a lover girl but i also have a very rough exterior like you guys are like you're so mean you need to relax you need to like loosen up da -da -da -da. but i'm just like i know my worth i'm worth so much like gold diamonds rubies the whole earth and i just feel like you know i'm spoiled i spoil myself and you're gonna spoil me some more and then let's not even talk about that i love nigerian men but nigerian men have their wahala and they know they do and it's like once you get accustomed to a certain treatment from a guy you can't go back and i know a lot of you all have like asked me in the past like to talk about this and i think maybe i might share this for like a story time or like another video just about like my dating experience with nigerian men so if y'all want to hear that <laughs> let me know in the comments below because <laughs> baby i got stories okay i got some stories for y'all crazy stories I just posted this really cute picture on Instagram today and it's so funny because the it was like this cute gay guy at the front desk he was like new I forget his name but shout out to him at the JW Marriott um he took my pictures for me and he listened so shout out to him I got my flicks got my pics real good but um yeah, I'm about to just chill for like another 10 minutes. I don't like being at the airport too early. The Bush Airport is probably like 45, 50 minutes away, like with like the Houston traffic. But I have TSA pre-check. I didn't check a bag. So I just don't like sitting at the airport for like an hour. Um, yeah, I'm so tired, y'all. This has been a great Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three and a half days. So, I mean, technically I've been here for four days, but... I'm so ready to get back to my apartment, my shower with my water filter, 
take a nice shower i need to wash my hair redo my hair this is probably going to be the last week or two of this sew-in and then i'm gonna get a different hairstyle soon so yeah love you all and i'll see y'all in i about to say see y'all in charlotte see y'all in the a bye good morning it is wednesday august 9th baby i was so tired last night i came home and made some food and like knocked out i was so tired <sighs> but um what was about to say yeah i tried to sleep in today but i woke up at like before 9 a.m i think no like around 9 a.m and i had to get some work done just going through all this stuff um i am trying to get rid of all the clothes and shop me as closet um, so I'm having a buy three, get one sale. I just lowered the prices on like a lot of items because a lot of stuff is like some fall items, but I have like two big boxes I need to ship out to people. Plus there's a girl who always comes in locally buys clothes for me. So I need to meet her today so she can get those items. So yeah, I just did a complete inventory of my store. Um, yeah, this is like my little mayhem office area just so much stuff but when it gets closer to me to move like for when it's time for me to move i will <laughs> maybe i'm gonna be getting rid of a bunch of stuff but um it is 12 27 12 25 whatever i need to go to the post office pick up my contacts go do a return at sephora because these two lip products i bought hated them they did nothing for me. Um, yeah, they were horrible. Like, horrible. So today I would love to go to the gym, but I'm not forcing it because I am tired. Um, I need to also wash my hair <laughs> badly. So that will be really what's on the agenda today. So yeah, shop me as closet, do your thing, and um, I will check back in with you all a little bit later. Oh wait, I have something to show you. So I remember, well, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, me the boss on Instagram, um, I have been eyeing the large, like the extra large Bottega dupes. And I saw them on my wish list, and it said the price had decreased to $8.99. So I bought the, gold and the silver ones and i just checked my mailbox because i came back from out of town yesterday and they were in there so i have the large silver Ooh, i don't even know how you get these out oh is it like stuck inside oh oh this is so cute wow this is like some cute packaging so these are the large silver see what these look like they look like they might be kind of poorly made oh that's cute she's cute mm -hmm. she's cute <laughs> okay let's try on the gold one because you know i'm a gold girl and the gold ones and then it says to push Oh yeah, she's a cutie. She's definitely giving, super giving. All right, my camera's dying. I knew it was gonna die because I was recording so much stuff. But I will check back in with you all a little bit later and I'll have the link for these um, Amazon Bottega dupes in the caption, I mean, in the description box. So. All righty, so I am running a few little errands just went to Sephora to make returns went to Trader Joe's to pick up a few things I spent like 40 something dollars in Trader Joe's I need to go to I really want to go to the farmers market because I feel like I can just get more from there I have a list a grocery list this time so now I'm about to go to the post office drop off these packages check my PO box 
and then go pick up my contacts and after that I'll finish the rest of the grocery shopping because right now I'm just kind of doing like this loop um, just in Buckhead so I can just make my way back down to where I need to go so yeah we just do what we need to get done on this Wednesday and go home sit my ass in the house I need to wash my hair tonight so I can um, just have clean hair these crimps are done and I need to get back on my zoom content starts tomorrow so my hair needs to be laid today so yeah maybe I'll bring you all with me when I go to the farmers market because you see me go to Trader Joe's you see me go to Kroger Target all of that I just feel like grocery shopping really isn't that fun I, I enjoy more like when I get home and I show you all like what I got and all that stuff so let me know you know what type of content you all want to see when it comes to like you know my everyday life I just feel like getting showing myself like taking a shower and all that type of shit is like not gonna happen but you know like skincare routine stuff hygiene stuff whatever I'm always open and just wanting to know what type of content I can incorporate that you all would really enjoy seeing so yeah I just got home from running a bunch of errands so I went to Trader Joe's and my granny got me like this really cute bag years ago I've had this bag for like probably 10 years but it keeps all your groceries cold. I went to Trader Joe's, Kroger, and the Farmer's Market. And this economy, baby, you gotta get all the deals you can get. So I'm gonna show you what I got. These are all my bags from the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is the best place to go for produce, like period. All right, this is my bag it's from Kroger. But this butter's from Kroger, but I put it in my little freezer bag. But plant-based butter, because you butter, because you all know I'm lactose intolerant. Let me wash my hands. Right, let's start with the Trader Joe's items. My chocolate granola bars, olive oil spray for the air fryer, or even when you're just making stuff on the stove. The beefless ground beef, this is perfect for I like to put these in omelets, but I have to stay away from eggs right now. Or I like to use this where I make tacos or even like spaghetti. Got some vodka sauce. Some more tataki. I, I said tataki. Lord, this is, this is not even called that. Spicy rice cake, okay? Healthy snacks, my favorite trail mix. Frozen strawberries. I eat these broccoli like it's nobody's business. So I buy two of these. Turkey bacon and chicken wings. Because I'm on this weird chicken wing kick right now. And I don't know why. Now what did I get from Kroger? Waffles. Organic chocolate oatmeal oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and I am so excited to try this this is the simply mixology peach sour so we about to see what this is hitting on tonight I've been saying I was gonna stay away from bread but my girl dinner meals consist of peanut butter and jelly so I got some multi-grain wide pan bread I love this so much it's definitely gonna be a girl dinner today Stuff I got from the farmer's market, seaweed. Yep, some of those. I got a piece of salmon. This was $5.99. This whole little case of blueberries because I want to make granola with blueberries, 99 cents. All these Roma tomatoes. Not sure on the price on those. This big ass thing of grapes was like $3.99. Okay, then I got a bell pepper and a red pepper, a red onion. I got one lemon, because I knew I had some at home. I got four limes because I'm making mojitos tonight. And I got a jalapeno. Don't ask me why I got a jalapeno. I think because I'm trying to make 
those little jalapeno, um, like the little sushi cake things. Then I got some mint leaves to make mojitos. And I got three cans of lychee. So I can make a lychee martini. But almost got hit. And then I just got a big ass Goya garlic powder because I use garlic powder a lot. So that is all the groceries I got today. I'm about to put everything away and clean off all of my produce. Mm -hmm. That's what we about to do, baby. This was packed today, so I need to eat this. I have one that's already there. All right, y'all. Good morning. I know I've been a little MIA or whatever, but um, yeah, it is Thursday, August 10th, and I just got up super early to wash my hair so my stylist can come over and just style it for me because I have to do content today. I'm about to make myself a quick little hash brown bowl situation. <laughs> Um, with the shredded hash browns, the Trader Joe's, turkey bacon, and I'm about to just whip up a bunch of vegetables I have in my fridge. So today I woke up, I feel good, I feel grateful, I feel very blessed, I feel optimistic. I just have a lot of things that I just really need to happen for me. I just want to ask God to just, you know, be a fence, baby. Be a fence. Why is there? All right, so right now I'm just cutting up peppers because I just like to have my breakfast bowls have a lot of flavor. Flavor. I love vegetables. Like just having all those flavors in my food makes me so happy. So I wash my hair. I have conditioner in it right now. I need to wash the conditioner out and then I can actually take my shower. So I do my shower after I wash my hair because you're just getting all that shampoo and conditioner all over your skin. I'm also back me or you know, whatever other issues it could be causing. Y'all can see me. because the presentation is not good, but just know it's hitting. It's hitting, okay? I put some vegan sour cream on here. And whoa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My hair is all nice and clean. I got some pin curls, as you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know where this came from, but um, yeah, the fuck. So I am gonna go back to this skincare routine that I was doing before I went to the dermatologist because 
she prescribed me like this acne gel and it was a hundred dollars and I was just like I'm not doing that and I just watched Kyra's skincare routine and um during like the pandemic I think this was like 2021 or something when I first discovered her channel I um or 2020, 2020 I don't fucking remember that I got introduced to Panoxyl basically and I incorporated a lot of things that she had in her skincare routine you know to achieve glass skin and it really really helped me but then sometime along 2022 I just started getting like really bad like hormonal breakouts so I saw in her newest video she mixed Panoxyl and Dial Soap together because you know Dial Soap was antibacterial and I've been using the Dial Bar Soap um during like in shower routine now and I feel like it has definitely made a difference for sure but um I'm definitely about to go re back up on Panoxyl and I'm gonna try the the dial soap too because it's just like what the f like what and um i was using the muesli that had the hydroquinone and the hydrocortisone in it uh, the muesli was like 80 dollars a month but my dermatologist prescribed me something and with my insurance it was 45 dollars. it's a fade cream it has to be refrigerated um but the one that i got from the doctor has Hold on, because I wanted to show or share with y'all like the differences. So the one I got from the doctor um, has 2.5% hydrocortisone and 7% hydroquinone. The one I have from Muesli had 12% hydroquinone and 1% hydrocortisone, but it also had kojic acid and niacinamide. So I'm about to just, I'm about to see because the before pictures I had of the, um, when I was taking the muesli, like before this mark right here, it was so dark and I had a dark one on my forehead, but that's my problem. I just, I have hyperpigmentation. So I'm just trying to get all these marks gone. This side is pretty good, but this one, whatever. So, okay, it's 12.13. Um, I need to text Winter to see what time we're going to confirm to do content today. Um, and then, because I need to, you know, pick out my outfits of what I want to photograph, what type of vibe I'm going for. I have no idea what location I even want to go take pictures at. So, I need to figure it out for sure. Um, so yeah. All right, I'll be back. Dressed to go do content, but this dress is so cute. Like I would actually wear this. Outfit of the day. I know I've been missing for a few days, but every time I picked the camera up, I was just like not in the mood to really talk to you all. So I would just put the camera back down. Um, it's Sunday, fun day. I had a late start in my day. I've been at home all day cooking, cleaning, um, watching this series on Amazon Prime called The Men's Club. It's season four. So I 
am dressed to go out. I did my makeup on Instagram Live. It looks so good. And I think I wanna film like this makeup routine that I've been doing, cause it's like, it's really different. But me and my homegirl is supposed to go out, but she tried to switch up the plans the last minute and go somewhere else. And I just wasn't really feeling that. So it might be a little solo night for the girl. But I just love how my makeup is turning out. Like it looks so good. My hair came out good. I have on these cute little earrings I got from Shein. They're like the Vivian Westwood type of earrings. Super cute. I'm wearing this hot pink bandage dress from Fashion Nova. Super cute. I didn't even think I was gonna get this dressed up today, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. But um, yeah, I'm loving it. And I have my silver purse to add a nice little little touch so what do you think cute or not definitely cute definitely giving so yeah this will be the last day of this vlog um i was on live and they were like where is the vlog they're like are you in houston are you in atlanta i'm like damn <sighs> I was editing the vlog. I was trying to play around with some things because I want to add clips like stuff I take from my Instagram stories and my Snapchat and put it in my vlogs. But I want to add it like in a more like, I don't know, aesthetic, creative way. So that's why this vlog has kind of been taken forever. And, you know, we just all have our moments of just kind of like funk where I just didn't want to do anything. So yeah but um this is going to conclude the vlog i'm about to go out and have a good night fingers crossed um because i've been having a lot of fun lately but tomorrow's monday start of a new vlog back to my routine i need to go to the gym i need to do a lot of stuff this week y'all like a lot i need to do some more beauty maintenance just a lot of stuff um so yeah thanks for everyone for subscribing to your girl leaving just wonderful comments, hyping me up, making me feel good, making me feel supported and motivated on this journey of vlogging. Um, for all my new subscribers, for all the OGs who've been there since the beginning, I love you all so much and I wouldn't be able to do anything that I do. Me and the boss would not be hurt without you. Ooh, I was, ooh, that, am I a rapper? Am I a rapper? <laughs> but love you all and stay tuned for the next vlog. Hope you love this one. Bye.